So we're here at the Sony, and uh, who are you? My name's Mark Weir. I'm the Senior Technology Manager for Digital Imaging here at Sony Electronics. We're here at uh, CES 2016. We're going to talk to you today about the new A7R Mark II and A7S Mark II cameras which shoot 4K video internally. So these models are in the market already. A7R Mark II was introduced last summer. They gained a lot of uh, interest among the photography and videography community because it's a 42 megapixel camera that can capture 4K video and can do it very, very um, cleanly and without any artifacts, which is common with high res when you're trying to shoot video with high resolution cameras. With 42 megapixels, we can operate in both the full frame 4K recording mode, 3840 by 2160 at 24p or 30p. We also have an option to crop for Super 35 and shoot at 24p or 30p. And when we've cropped at Super 35, we can have two times oversampling for an amazingly well graded and sharp image in 4K. So these cameras, using a full frame sensor, it's one of only two cameras it available today that can shoot 4K video on the full width of the image sensor. This is the A7R Mark II. It's in the market today at about $3,200 for the body. The second camera that we're going to talk about today is the A7S Mark II. So the A7S Mark II is physically the same as an A7R Mark II. We're showing it here with a video lens, a 28 to 135 servo zoom video lens. But the difference with the A7S Mark II is in the image sensor. Instead of using a high resolution sensor, which uh, is great for both stills and video, the A7S Mark II uses a low megapixel sensor. This is just 12 megapixels. And the purpose here is to get maximum sensitivity and dynamic range. We're using a full frame sensor with just 12 megapixels. The individual pixels are very large have tremendous light gathering capability that couldn't be possible with a higher resolution sensor. And also they have very high saturation levels. So this camera can deliver sensitivity and dynamic range that allows it to see beyond human vision. You can shoot video and stills up to 409,000 ISO. And the camera can shoot clean 4K video in light that is lower than what you can see in. So the real advantage here for both photographers and videographers is the ability to capture in light so low that other cameras would very much struggle. This camera can shoot cleanly, easily, at 100,000 ISO, which is well above the limits of any other camera available today in its class. So this camera can shoot 4K video across the full frame sensor. It's one of only two cameras that can do that and record internally in the XAVCS codec at 100 megabits per second or 60 megabits per second, 24p or 30p. So this is the A7S Mark II, and this is in the market. We uh, reached the market in October and November of 2015, and this is positioned at about $3,000. And so the video enthusiasts are very excited about these uh, full frame uh, uh, cameras for 4K. Yeah, the reason why is that um, there really are no cameras that are shooting uh, 4K video across the full width of the image sensor. That's very, very challenging to do. And by using a very large image sensor like that, videographers can control the plane of focus to use uh, depth of field as a, um, as a part of dramatic storytelling. They can shift the plane of focus from an actor in the foreground to an actor in the background, and that becomes part of the storytelling of the video. So full frame and what full frame brings to video pr uh, production is a tremendous advantage, and that's one of the um, things that's been very attractive for videographers. Of course, on top of that, you have the advantage of interchangeable lenses and lenses that can match the requirements of video. This is a very special one, right? Yeah, this particularly is well suited for video because in addition to having a zoom, it's also a servo zoom. There's a motorized zoom, which is something that you can't find in lenses for SLRs. It's also a par focal lens, so there's no focus ramping, there's no focus breathing, which again is not something that you find in lenses designed for SLRs, but only lenses that you uh, uh, are, are designed for video. So uh, some uh, videographers are probably saying that this is the best camera in the world. Well, some have said that, uh, there's no doubt, but there's room for both of these models. The A7S Mark II is particularly well suited to those who are shooting in low or no light and not in control of their lighting situation. 
A7R Mark II is, um, again, a tremendous advantage for videographers, but this is more suited for those that want to be able to have high resolution performance for stills and video, and perhaps don't need quite as much capability in low or no light. But the two of them are really a pair, and they appeal to videographers and photographers alike, just slightly different applications depending upon their work. But when it has a great performance for low or uh, low light, does that mean it has great performance for all kinds of light too? Absol also for a lot of light? Absolutely. It's not just a question of low light, it's a question of wide dynamic range. And that's really where uh, the, the very, very large pixels of the A7S Mark II come into the, uh, the benefit.